back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty. Welcome back to the Cosmic Royal family. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you guys are returning, welcome back. It's always a pleasure to have you guys here, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So you guys, we have um we have needing funds. We have are you hiding something from me? We have sorry I led you on. We have keeping tabs on you. So collective, I feel like um, you guys have pulled away from somebody and this person is infatuated with knowing your whereabouts, what you're doing. Do you have anything going on? Are you dealing with anybody else? Um, this person could have led you guys on at one, at one point, like they led you on. Like, you know, this person led you to believe that you guys are going to have more. I feel like they also allowed, allowed you to invest in them as well. Meaning like you could have given this person money. You could have helped this person out because, you know, you really did think that, excuse me, you really thought that you had something special with this person. And I'm not saying that it wasn't anything special. I do feel like it was something special. But, you know, this person is kind of coming off like a narcissist. For real, like, it's kind of given like they got what they wanted from you. And when they got everything they wanted from you, they discarded you. When they felt like it was nothing else that they can get out of you and out of the situation, they discarded you guys, collective. You know? Um, this person feel like you are hiding something from them. Right now, maybe because you are so distant from them. This person may not know where you stay, where you reside. Um, you could have moved to another city, another state. You know, this person feel like you're hiding something from them. Also, this could have been your energy with them early on. I feel like at one point you thought you didn't know if this person was hiding something from you. I feel like maybe intuitively you did. You felt like something was off because this person was acting distant. This person would just completely go off the radar. Like you had no idea where this person was. I'm getting like they would go days and weeks and some from me for some of you guys, even months. Even months without communicating with you guys. So you never really knew where you stood with this person. And I kind of feel like they would just like come back, come back in your life. And then they would be gone just as quick as, just as quick as they got, got back, they would be gone again. This person is a user. Like they're really coming off like they use people. Um, they they use their partners, right? They go into the next best thing, right? Or they are, they're always after the next best thing, collective. Always trying to figure out what they could get, what they could get out of the situation, all right? Is there anything in it for them? This person may be needing funds right now because there's strong energy surrounding money. This is the type of person that would get into a commitment with somebody just because of what that person offered them. So, y'all, it's kind of giving like opportunists. Yeah, this is really giving like an opportunist type of energy collective, you know. And I feel like once this person got what they could get from you guys, maybe this person kind of disappeared or maybe that's how you feel. You feel like you gave and you gave to this person. They never really told you guys where y'all stood. Then they disappeared with the GPS energy here. You know, I feel like for a little while, maybe you tried to keep up with this person. Like, you know, you were genuinely concerned. Like, you just really wanted to know where you stood. What happened? Like, did I do something to you? Like, you didn't do anything to this person. This person was just a narcissist. That's just what it is. This is a very, very manipulative, conniving, sneaky, vindictive, tricky user. Like, this person's just coming off like a user. Just being real with you, okay? I really feel like this person disappeared on you for a third party who was doing something for them. They they left for the next best thing, okay? This is kind of what I'm getting at, what they feel like was best. This is somebody who has been doing a lot of thinking about coming back towards you guys. It's like this person's been doing a lot of thinking about communicating with you. <clears throat> for whatever reason, they want to come back to you. Something probably didn't go right with this with this third party it says up all night thinking about you guys so something probably just did not go right with this third party so whoever they left you guys for something could have hit the fan with this situation here and see the problem is that the whole time this person was hiding the fact that they were in love with you so this is why they want to come back collective 
because they are hiding the fact that the whole time they were in love with you the whole time and just hiding it hiding this from you and it's left you guys feeling broken hearted wondering where you went wrong wondering did you do something to them right this person never came back to like um give you clarity they left you guys in this broken hearted state and this is so awful like you have to be a very just this is really giving like low life scum of the earth like for you to invest and somebody, like, you guys could have been investing for years. So, this person did invest some type of energy and effort into you, like, you know, um, for a while. Like, this wasn't just no, like, a week, two weeks, a month, two months type of energy. Like, you guys could have really been dealing with this person for a couple years, maybe on and off. So, like, you had, like, some type of bond with this person. Like, y'all did have a bond together with this person here. But I see that they did walk away from you and they went towards another situation here yeah this person feel like they wasn't supposed to catch feelings for you so this person could have left you because they were catching feelings for you guys collective this person is hoping that you would hold their spot because they view you as their blessing now yeah and they this person know that they have not done nothing for you to trust them they have given you every reason not to trust them okay with we both know that this is wrong, maybe y'all met and it was like a third party. Maybe they had somebody, you had somebody. So they felt like it wasn't no big deal if they ghosted you. But I feel like, you know, feelings grew very deep between you and this person here. All right. Like this was more of like a spiritual connection that you share with them. It's not easy pretending I don't want you. So this person has been pretending the whole time. The whole time, even while they have been silent, even while they have been um, MIA, there's been no communication. Even while they're over here dealing with Tom, Dick, and Harry, like whoever they're dealing with, right? Whoever the, whoever the karma that they're with now, they still think about you. They're over there pretending like they don't love you. And survey says that is a lie, collective. That is That could be fathers from the truth. Because if this person didn't have any type of feelings for you at all, they would not be keeping tra keeping tabs on you. This person keeps tabs on you, all right? This person know your every move for some of you guys. This person could have quite literally hired a, a private private investigator. Or this person have like looked you up online. This person has flew in. If y'all stay out of state, they have driven by your house. This person has actually driven, put in effort to find where you are. They It's like, even though they're not talking to you, even though they may be in, involved in another situation, they feel like, as long as they know where you are, they feel connected to you. As long as they can just drive by and see your car or see you in the yard or wherever, they feel connected to you. This person is also getting bad karma. They're getting some type of bad karma. Like they're going through a, a terrible karmic cycle right now over here with this karma. I feel like whoever they're with, that's their karma. I feel like the universe kind of stopped them up with their karma for how they treated you guys. Clarify, receive bad karma, Holy Spirit. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. So this person is stagnant in their life. Something's going on with their finances. This person could have recently lost their job. They could be in between jobs right now. All right, this 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 is because this person was extremely stubborn. This is somebody who was stuck in their ways. I feel like, you know, the universe told this person to come back to you, make something right, even if they wasn't ready to settle down with you. They were instructed by Most High to make something right, to tell you the truth, at least. Or if this person took money from you, they were instructed to pay you some money back or something like that. This person refused. They were so stubborn. Or if this person was lying to you, the universe instructed them to speak some type of truth to you. All right. They were super, super stubborn collective. And mind you, this is all past energy here. All right. So this person is stuck. The universe has put some type of halt to this person's finances yeah also this person chose another partner with the lover's energy here this person put you in a third party situation with the three of wands they kept you waiting because they were dealing with somebody else and i feel like the universe do, they do not approve the universe does not approve of this connection with them and this karmic all right, nobody approves of this. Nobody in the spirit realm approves of this connection with them and this karmic. But this person is, like I said, they're stubborn. They're set in their ways. If it's something that they want, then they, they pretty much disregard it, what anybody have to say. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles energy here. So they could have went, went, went towards somebody, a woman or feminine energy that 
I'm hearing gave the illusion like they are secure. I don't feel like this, this energy is secure. I feel like it's some type of an illusion. Yeah, the Knight of the Knight of Cups, it says jealousy, moody, unrealistic, false. All right, cynical. So collective, this feminine energy was given the illusion. They were given the illusion that they were stable. So your person got trapped. They that somebody tricked them. Somebody lied to your person like they had, they offered more than what they really did in order to like, I'm hearing hook, line and sinker, like to hook this person and keep them. This was a lie. This is a false person. This is somebody who gives off some type of false illusion, like they're more than what they are. And since your person was money hungry, but since they were an opportunist, they fell for it. Now this person want to come in and give you some type of some type of offer, right? Whether it's like a night of passion, a romantic offer, um, a proposal or something like that. But this, this person is like feeling a lot of passion for you. They're lusting after you. This person now feel like you fulfill them. They feel like you fulfill all of their wishes. I feel like they felt like this the whole time. It's just that this person was just greedy. They were selfish. They wanted, this person felt like, they wanted more or you couldn't offer them what they wanted. This person had this unrealistic idea of where they're supposed to be in life or what they're supposed to have or what their partner is supposed to look like or what their partner is supposed to offer them. And it was unrealistic. And this is what held you guys up. This is why this person held, held back from you. Yeah, it says too materialistic, miracle, lack of progress or planning, focusing only on short term, wasting time. So this person wasted time dealing with a short-term situation here. They got themselves um, stuck in a, in a situation that should have only been short-term. Yeah, Spirit is saying this person was careless. The fool in reverse, it says careless, foolish, reckless, indecision, inaction, negligent, irresponsible, and gullible. Your person was gullible. They, they fell for this karm karmic because they were gullible. Yeah, the hierophant. It's like this in the eight of swords in reverse collective. This person now see the spiritual connection that you guys share. They now see that they could have that probably that they were supposed to marry you. You, you and this person were supposed to be together, live together, have children together, build together. All right. You may be someone who was held of high honor. Now this person see that this person see that God don't play about you. This person see that you are very protected. Like this person see how they should have looked up to you. They should have given you your flowers. This person should have offered you something stable. They should have offered you something traditional collective. But they chose not to. This person has gained some type of wisdom as to who you are and what they did wrong. They've gained some type of wisdom collective. Yeah, and it's like now they want to work together with you. Whereas in the past, you couldn't you couldn't even get this person to answer your phone call. You couldn't even get this person to text you back. Yeah, four of cups, they rejected, they rejected you. They intentionally ignored you. They intentionally did not text you back. They intentionally withheld communication. They were out here being a whoremonger. The knight of the, the king of wands in reverse is a whore. This is a very ruth, ruthless, impulsive, power hungry, double minded, double life menace. And this is what who this is who this person was. This is what they were doing. And it's like now they want to come out of conflict with you. Now they want to show up for you guys as the emperor. All right. They want to offer this two of cups. Okay, they want to give you their cup of love. They want to be with you. They want to build with you. They want to grow with you. They want to breed with you. They want to have, they want you to have their babies or they want to have your baby. All right. Like they want to build a legacy with you, six of ones, because they feel like with you, they could they can win in life. They can be victorious with you on their side collective. Yeah. This person is also very possessive over you as well. They feel like, I mean, to be real with you, um, like, they're not going to be happy with nobody else. They feel like you're not ever going to be happy with anybody else collective. That's how this person feel. Like, this person has gained some level of clarity now that they didn't have initially. Tell me more. Yeah, something that was hidden, hidden about this connection has been revealed to this person here. 
you know, see the problem, like I said, this person thought that there was someone better. They was keeping their options open, but they don't want to do this anymore. It says cosmic intervention. There has been some type of divine intervention here. Yeah. Powerful changes of the heart. Mm. Yeah. Un un unfoldment, spiritual awakening, breaking free, blooming, connecting with higher self. So it's like, you know... It's like this person is finally getting to the point where they are um, ready to go through the dark night of the soul so that they can also go through their awakening collective. Yeah, I'm spirit is saying that this was a part of some type of divine plan. Yeah, this person could be a lone wolf or this could be you, a free spirit. This is somebody who was just happy single or maybe right now you're happy single. You may choose to stay single at this point collective. Yeah, but this person is realizing that you are their perfect match. Like you guys are extremely compatible, but this is a lazy lover. And this person knows that they have to work on this. They can't sit around and procrastinate and not take any action knowing that they're going to miss out on their perfect match. And if they don't do anything, this person is, they're going to go crazy. I already see this person is losing it. It's like this person is mentally restless because it's like now they they choose you. They just haven't verbally told you this. But like in this person's heart and soul, they have already chose you. But this person feel like, you know, you don't you don't you're out of reach to this person now. You know, this person feel like they're not going to be able to please you. They're not going to be able to clean up the mess like they've done too much. The, the damage is too great. It's too severe. This person also know that they have to get rid of distractions. This could be your twin, okay, because there's twins here on this card, all right? <clears throat> they have to get rid of some type of distractions here and see, they know that you're keeping yourself away from them You're because you are in your safe space right now, all right? You're keeping yourself away from this person because you feel like this person is moving too slowly. Yeah, you feel like you've waited long enough on this person. Yeah, I feel like this person's going to have like, they're having some type of mental breakdown, I'm getting like a mental breakdown type of energy here. Yeah, because this person is going to have to watch you celebrate without them. And them bottling up their emotions, holding back all this pent up frustration, pent up energy that they feel, right? Everything that they want to say to you. Like, it, first of all, the apology within itself. This person owe you an, a, the apology of a lifetime. All right? Yeah, this person really did a number on you. You know, they left you wounded for no reason. You didn't do anything for this person to attack you the way that they did. For them to discard you guys the way that they did. So this person is like in a very fucked up mental space. Their mental space is, is fucked up collective right now. It's like they're not even thinking straight. Because this person is tired of holding back their feelings and their emotions. Okay, trying to play it calm, cool, and collected. You know... But to be real with you guys, karma has really whooped this person's ass. They've been going through it. They may not even look the same. Like next time you see this person, they may have like physical um, scars on them or you'll be able to tell physically that this person just looks different. That something is off. Yeah, this is this is wounding battle wounds from going through karma. Yeah. This person want to be able to offer you one day something that you truly, truly deserve. All right. Also, this is you receiving what you deserve from the universe because you're grounding yourself because you are aligning yourself with your blessings. You, you are healing and you're putting yourself in a position where the universe can bless you. Right. You are making space for your blessings. Yeah, I'll straw into alchemy. It says straw into gold, alchemy energy. It says receiving what was lost, creating something out of nothing. So you guys are just really just manifesting right now. You are a powerful alchemist. So it's like you were able to turn what this person meant for your bad. You turned it good. You, turn, you turned it good. And then this, this person is just like, they're not, this is something else that really turns them on about you collective. 1919 19 on the timer. All right. This is something that turns this person on about you. I swear, y'all, this person is weary. They, they feel weak in the spirit. This, whoever this karmic situation is hurt them. Like they could have found out something about this person that they left you for. Yeah, they found out this person is selfish and they don't have, they're, they're not only are they selfish, they don't have anything to offer them. So I'm not going to just say that they're selfish. They could be, they just don't have nothing to offer. Yeah. 
Look at the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the High Priestess, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. This person owes you some type of an apology because they realize that you are the one that has everything to offer. Whoever this High Priestess energy is, is the one with everything to offer. Everything to offer. Yeah, you're, you're coming out as like the King of Pentacles, even if you're a female. So, you know, especially like if this was your Divine Masculine, when they abandon you, it puts you in your masculine energy here. So that's this is why you're showing up as the king of pentacles. You had to be in this masculine energy to protect yourself so, so that you can heal. So that you can stop being so emotional about the situation in this person and operate through logic. And through logic, you were able to move forward. You were able to move forward, collective. All right, but you are showing up as the king of pentacles, wealth, businessman, businesswoman, security, discipline, and abundance. This person see that you about your business now. Yeah, and this makes them feel even more emotionally low because they know that they were irresponsible and reckless and manipulative with your heart. And you know something, you may also be an earth angel or you have protection of angelic energy here. Yeah, and this person know that because of your because of who you are spiritually. You're, in, you're not going to tolerate this from them. You don't have to tolerate this from them. Also, you have some guardian angels that are very intolerant when it comes to people hurting you. Look at this mentally restless. I knew it. It says mentally restless and energetic. All talk, no action. Okay, this person, it's like the fact that they were all talk, no action. The fact that they always leave you hanging. They, they did not show up for you. This person feel like they let you down. This is really really fucking with this person mentally collective this person's mentally losing this because they do not want to lose you but they definitely did choose somebody else over lust and finance and status all right i'm gonna pull one card from our star child oracle deck for you guys and then um i'm gonna wrap this reading up also if you guys have not have not reserved your deck make sure you are doing so on my etsy shop okay Go ahead and give me one message for my Royal Divine Collective. Give me one message for them, Holy Spirit. Give me one message for them. What do they need to hear the most right now? Give me a 5D message for them. Something to feed their soul. One more, Holy Spirit. Wow. We're going to take that. And we're going to take that. So we have the magician. So you guys are powerful alchemists. You are, all right? It says, a master of inner alchemy, a spiritual magician transform internal energies to manifest desires in the physical realm. Drawing the universe laws and ancient wisdom, they align with cosmic frequencies and nature's rhythm. Their power comes from deep introspection and, and a connection to the divine, emphasizing the magic within and guiding others on their spiritual paths. You are a powerful alchemist. And you see how he has that staff in his hand. You are a spiritual leader as well. The staff represents leadership and power. All right. So you guys also may be spiritual lawyers. All right. It says defend, speak, and represent. It says approach divine counsel on behalf of others. So you guys have the power to go into the spirit and approach the divine counsel on the behalf of other people. So meaning like if there is some type of injustice with somebody that you know, or maybe you don't know, you don't know this person, but something happened to them and it was, it was a injustice. You can, you can pray for them and spiritually approach most high. You can spiritually approach the divine counsel on other people's behalf. All right, bringer of karmic justice. Yeah, you're like walking karma. You're like walking karma. What 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 you say, if the scale's gonna be balanced out, if you say it's gonna be done, it's gonna be done. Whatever you say is gonna go, it's gonna go. Like you're you're you are you are a true speaker and bringer bringer of karmic justice. It says divine authority to spiritually assist. You have the ability to intercede on others' behalf and assist them spiritually as well. Someone under judgment. You can put people under divine judgment. Yeah, you can put somebody under divine judgment. Let's just say you, you're watching TV, right? And a crime show come on and somebody committed a heinous crime and they never got tried for it. 
you can pray. You have the authority where you can actually pray and you and, and get this prayer to most high and you can put them under divine judgment. And all of a sudden you will look back online or on TV again and this person has finally been tried and they, they've been sentenced because a spiritual lawyer, all right, someone with ranking has stepped in on this, all right? All right, and it says anointed, anointed to, to balance karmic scales. So yeah, you guys have the ability to balance out the karmic scales. So if something, if there is an injustice, you know, you can, you can come in and spiritually balance the scales out, make something fair. Yeah, you can definitely make something fair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like I said, our beautiful Star Child Oracle deck is now available um, on my Etsy shop for pre-order. Make sure that you reserve your deck because I'm the way it's looking collective, they're, they're going to be gone before they touch down. All right. I really, really appreciate all of your love and your support. You guys, everybody who, who supports any and everything that I do, I really appreciate it. I love you guys to life. Peace.